subscribe. Hello guys, I've been seeing a lot of these videos pop on my For You page and on YouTube. Uh, you know, I watched a couple of videos right now of Ali Coca to see the situation, what he was talking about. Ali Coca on the video where he about dog pack, he didn't even think he did. He just showed this is the good list, like I'm going to show you right now. He said he, I will put more, but I ran out of his room. But that looks like he stole that from Google or he put that in notes. I have the big respect for Ali Coca because he made great content and didn't win so strong. But right now, I'm going to play. I'm gonna give you to play a couple of videos sped up and just look at them. Our world really does function similarly to a WWE storyline. Most people just want to sit back and be entertained by the unfolding chaos. People are so lazy these days that they don't even want to put in the work to form their own opinions. So when you got this nasally inbred looking little bitch throwing a bunch of unproven allegations towards Mr. Beast, it goes viral because negativity sells. This clout chaser made a video painting Jimmy in the negative. And as a result, we got a herd of sheep calling for Jimmy's cancellation. Here's a short list of all the good things that Jimmy has done to make this world a better place, which people are so quick to forget. I would have wrote down a lot more, but I ran out of room. I wonder if the people hating on Jimmy have done even 1% of the good deeds that he has. If you nitpick and twist your words enough, you can always find a negative narrative about anything, like this shit digger did. And here's a final question Is the world a better place with Mr. Beast on YouTube or without him on YouTube? You already know the answer to that. I am throwing in the towel. I am admitting it, I need a day off. In the last 65 days, I made 145 new videos all by myself. I haven't missed a single day since May 26, which is my longest streak. But for the last week, I've had this mammoth headache that just will not go away. In the last few days, I've only been able to make one video per day. I usually make at least two. And same thing today, I spent a few hours trying to make my second video, but I just can't do it. My brain is refusing. I also feel like I'm not being as creative as I usually am, and that makes sense. I've been running on fumes for some time now, so my video making streak will end at 65 days. I'm gonna take a day or two off and come back rejuvenated, but I'm so fucking proud of myself and also so grateful. I got a job which I love so much that I gotta feel unwell to stop doing it. I still feel sad that I won't be making videos tomorrow, and that's how I know it's a blessing. In the first video, he didn't even show any evidence of saying Doc Pack is like he just insulted him i can't even tell he's mr clean he has 450 pounds he was talking about the cacado avocado he's who is skinnier himself he said he's a big fat whale i do not know how he is talking about somebody who he is fatter then the next video why it was the first video was posted on july 29th and the second video was posted on july 30th uh the next day he was receiving a big amount of hate from Doc Pack viewers and everything for being a beat rider for Mr. Me because he totally is. He's, oh, I ran out of the room. That's definitely notes. You can run out of room. If you want to, he could make another page. It's very easy, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. It's a bit long, but sorry, but you can twist. He said you can twist. That's true. I can twist my words and say that he is isn't a fat whale. He's a really skinny guy who mogs cash at me. Like I can say that, but no, I have I have I had a great deal of respect for Ali Coca when he started making videos and everything. Watched them. I had, sometimes I didn't like the videos because he said them. He makes videos not in a great way he doesn't make funny and roasting he makes the video in a how somehow no you know i'm not a person to get offensive about anything because i think that world culture is pretty bad but but sometimes even saying about family and everything is kind of not you know in a good way you need to respect the person and make a good video like Sonny V2 does. He didn't say, oh, Chris is a pedophile. He will make everything bad for species. He just showed it. He really said trans. And after like a year or two, he was right. He was right. Yes. Uh, Chris Tyson was a problem. The wind is too strong, bro. And, you know, I can twist my words and say, that's a Mr. Clean, bro. It's McDonald's every day. Howdy Coco, you're a fat fucking lazy motherfucking bitch with a job. I had on one video have more than five of your videos combined. Like, you should fucking retire, you lazy piece of no nosy shit. Oh, that's a little bit too much. I'm kind of mad at Daddy Coca because I support Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast did nothing wrong. His friend did it. He did not. I love Chris Tyson before everything I found out that before he became trans and everything. But you should not insult a person say everything. I'm not even making, I don't have any evidence, but Ali Coca should do, ev do some research, like I do on internet for right-wing propaganda, so bye guys, please subscribe, love y'all, peace.